I told you earlier, I, I do some of my own songwriting, and I reckon that's the reason that people got me up here was to share some of the things that I'd written. You know, a lot of people write songs and and they keep them in the desk drawer or something they won't let nobody have them because they're afraid they'll steal them from them and make money off of them. But I've, every song that I've ever written, I've, I've sung it out and let people tape it or anything they want to do with it because I think that's what I write them for, is for people to hear. So this one, I believe the first one I'll do, I know probably all you people are familiar with Hardy's fast food chain where you can run in and get a hamburger and french fries and all that stuff. We have them over at our over Blowing Rock and pretty sure you do over here. But anyway, over in our town there, I live in Blowing Rock, North Carolina. I went in to Hardy's one day to eat my lunch and there was an old fella in front of me. He was in his 80s. He would have been the town drunk for about half of them years, I guess. And that particular day, he had had a three or four, I think, maybe too many, anyway. But he got up there, and he was in front of me, and he was talking loud to me. And you know how it is when you get in a place like that. You're kind of embarrassed to let people know that you know somebody that, that's in that shape. But uh, he's a fine fella. He just, he just happened to get hooked on alcohol. And the things he said while we was in the parties there that day kind of got me to thinking and I wrote this little song about him and he's real real tickled that somebody would take time to write a song about him so it goes like this Well I walked into Hardy's for a burger and fries but an old man in front of me is a thing that caught my eyes. He had a little basket on his arm and a cane in his left hand. He walked up to the counter and said, howdy there, young man. He said, I'll have a chicken sandwich and an order of them french fries. I'm a gonna sit over by the window on account of my dim eyes. Then he turned around and winked at me, and then I heard him say, Old men don't ride fun, they just rot away. Well, he said, Old men don't ride fun, they just rot away. Some old men don't ride fun, that's what I heard him say. Then he waved at me to sit with him, and I thought I would choke. But when I sat down with him, he told me a dirty joke. Well, I could tell he'd had a drink or two by the things he had to say. Like old men don't ride fun, they just rot away. Then he said, you know, we voted today on liquor by the drink. And when he said he voted no, I began to think. Well, why on earth would a fellow like you vote no in a case like this? Well, he said with a voice deep and slow, I'm a trying to quit. Well, he said, old men don't ripen, they just rot away. Some old men don't ripen, that's what I heard him say. Now, Tommy Irvin was an envied man back in his younger days. He could work all day and dance all night in his own kind of way. Well, I don't know, but I've heard say he could play a mandolin. He could pitch a pretty good baseball game when he was a younger man. But he said, old men don't ripen, they just rot away. Some old men don't ripen, that's what 